नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज योर इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स सो दिस इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स ऑफ ए सेल ऑफ ए सेल सो बिफोर वी गो टू दिस इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव सेल ऑल ऑफ आर आर फैमिलियर विथ सेल दिस सेल नॉट लाइक अ बायोलॉजिकल सेल दिस सेल इज ए जनरल इलेक्ट्रिकल सेल इज अ
then comes to that question. Now, like the electron comes to this side. In other words, you can say the current flows opposite to the power of electron. So, I think that it's not this direction of point or positive charge. But when this electron comes from this side to this side, negative terminal to positive terminal, the current is opposite direction. Now, the electron reaches here, reaches the positive direction. Then what happens? The after the electron comes to here, on this side, then as you know, in the process, as the electron comes to this side, now how this electron can reach to there? As you know that, if this is the direction of electric field, means this end is positive, this end is negative, and this is the direction of electric field. If I will allow an electron here, then the electron will move from lower to higher. The electron direction is like this. But here what we need, in this process, as the electron comes to this electrode, this electron comes to this electrode. Now, here is the electron, flows from this negative to positive, that is okay. From negative to negative, it either comes to this positive, there is no need of. This is because of the electrical force. By this electrical force, the electron comes from lower potential, or you can say the negative electron to the positive electron. This is okay. But, in this cell, now comes in this cell, what happens to this cell? Will the electron from move from positive to negative? No, already you know that. In electrostatics, already you know that the electron will move from lower to negative to positive. But here we need what? To complete the circuit, to complete the flow of electron one complete cycle, we need the electron to move from this. So then the electron comes to here, then the electron will move like this, in this place, then it will come to this end, like this the complete. So to move this electron from this positive end to this negative, higher potential to lower potential, that is a different from the electrostatic force. So it means what? There is some chemical reactions of course, and that energy. This energy, the electron gets that much of energy which is which overcome the electric field, but is said from the electric field is a negative direction. This direction, if you say in electric field, this is from positive to negative, but the electron is going moving along the direction of electric field. But the concept says what? In electrostatics, what do you know? The electron always moves from opposite to the electric field, but here it is along the direction of electric means the electron gets that much of energy from where? From the cell, from this electrolyte, some chemical reactions of course, so that the electron goes to this cell. And this energy, that move of the electron in this complete cycle is the electromotive force. That is the electromotive force. That's why it's called electromotive. The electron is motivated to move from higher potential to lower potential. Or at high to but another thing is that from that thing, it is that's why it is called electromotive. But the force of you can say that this is not a force like right? it is some work or energy. The electron to move the electron needs some energy. That energy comes from the electrolyte or the chemical reaction of course in this one. And this is a non-electrostatic. This is a non-electrostatic. The move of the motion of the electron is a non-electrostatic. But in this part, it is electrostatic. The electron moves in the electric field. But here, it is non electrostatic. That gives you the definition of electromotive force. So now, when you are so you understand this concept, means the thing is that in this electrolyte or inside the cell, the electron has to move from the higher to lower, or you can say, along the direction of the electric field. But it is set up in the cell. To provide that, because as our concept says, what? We also have electrostatics. The electron always moves opposite to the electric field. But here it is along the direction of electric field. So to do that, it needs some energy. And that one, all energy, is given to what? The electron by this cell. That gives you the concept of electromotive force. Means, what is the energy given to the charge? Electron. One electron, or you can say 
one problem of that. But the dynamic given to the chart to complete one cycle in the set. Means in this something. From here goes to the extra instance, then comes to the zero prod, then it's like this. This complete cycle, what is the energy? That is the electromotive force. If I write the definition of electromotive force, is the, so what to write this definition? It is the, let me write the definition of electromotive force. It is a electromotive force. EMF, short form you can say EMF or in single character by E or capital E or small e like that. Okay? E. Simple. In simple you can write E. So, the electromotive force, the EMF is the work done by the non electrostatic field. Non electrostatic field to move a charge. To move a charge or unit charge, you can say to move a unit charge from one end. Or you can say from within the circle from one end or the EMF is the work done by the non electrostatic field to move a unit charge from one end to another end, or we can write this as a unit charge in the circuit. In the complete circuit. So, this gives you the definition of work done. Now, this gives you the definition of electromotive force. The EMF is the work done of the energy by the non electrostatic field. Which one is the non electrostatic field? The electrolyte is the non electrostatic field. To move a unit charge in the circuit. In a complete cycle. In the complete cycle. So, this gives you the definition of electromotive force. Now, this electromotive force now moves the charge from one electrode to another electrode in the outside, then inside from this electrode to other electrode. That is the electromotive force that we move. So, we can say, that it is the external force, it is the external force which motivates the charge. Here the electrode you can say the charge or the electrode. Motivate the charge to move from one. Electrode to another electrode in one complete cycle. Complete cycle. That is the electromotive force. Now, from this, we know the definition of electromotive force. Then, now we find this. Electromotive force is the work done. I can write this electromotive force E is equal to from this one work done for unit charge. Non electrostatic field, work done by the non electrostatic field to move a unit charge in the circuit. So that means E is equal to work done for unit charge. This is the mathematical form. This is the mathematical form of EMA. So, already you know that this type of form, the work done for unit charge is also called as the potential or the potential. Already you know that. Means, this electromotive force is something related to the potential. It is not a force. It is not a force. It is something related to the potential. So, why this thing comes? Because you can say that this external force which motivates the charge. It motivates the charge to flow in the charge. So that's why it's the name, the name comes to promote force. But it is not a force. Don't take that. It's not, it is a force. It is not a force. Work on all unique charge to move in that circle. So this is equal to W by Q. Then, what is this unit you can say? At the work on all unique charge, so that is joule per coulomb. Chai unit. Joule per coulomb. 
Pari lagi jual kau tulang. Or, ada soalan itu, bone. Jual kau tulang orang, you can say this is your bone. So this is that you need a dimension is less than the top potential dimension. Dimension is the same as the potential. Electric potential. So dimension is same as the term of electric potential. Next. Now, this is that you have to put in force only. Then, there is a question that I have to say in your mind. If this is the potential, if this is the potential, if they are saying, if they are saying, then what is the need of this is the potential force? If it is a potential, you can say that it is electric potential, then already you know about electric potential. In your own slow in here, different discussions. So if it is a potential, but it is different from the potential. The difference from the potential, it is a different from the potential. That means, and if the electromotive force, what is the difference between this electromotive force and the potential? What is the difference between the electromotive force and the potential? Or the potential or terminal potential? That is the next question. If it is the potential, if it is potential, dimension is potential, then what is the basic difference between this EMF and the potential or terminal potential? That is the answer question that we can say that. This is the question. Then, what is the difference between this EMF and the potential difference? Now, let me write the difference for this. Electromotive force EMF and terminal potential. And terminal potential. Or simply you can say potential difference. Terminal potential difference. Now, what is the difference between this two? EMF and the potential difference. First, I can say that EMF is a cause. What is that? Cause of a flow of charge. It is actually the cause. And the potential difference, already you know that, potential difference leads to the, but when you apply a potential difference across the conductor at two ends, then it will allow the charge to flow in the circuit or from the one end to other end. So, if it is the cause, then it will say that it is the effect. If it is the effect. And EMF comes because of the Work done by it is the work done by it non electrostatic non electrostatic field non electrostatic field EMF but in terminal potential difference you can say it is the work done work done by it electrostatic field electrostatic field to move it Move it, you need charge, or you can send that to the charge. This is also going to be to move a unit charge. Right? Then, the next one is that, and the next difference is that it is the EMF of a cell, of a cell is a constant. Of a cell, the EMF of a cell is a constant. Suppose you go to the market and you draw a cell, then it is written as 1.5 volt. So that is the EMF of the cell and it is constant. By due time or due course, the energy loss and it, will, it may reduce, but it is written 1.5 volt means the cell will provide you EMF of 1.5. So it is a constant. But the terminal potential depends on. It depends, it is not a constant, it depends on external resistance. External resistance. Depends on the external resistance. What is the resistance connected to the circuit? That external resistance is at your terminal potential or the potential difference. Then, the other you can say that this EMF, this EMF is in an open circuit, the EMF is in an open circuit. If a cell is connected and it is an open circuit, then it will never be EMF. But the terminal potential it should be a closed circuit. Measure this one, it should be a closed circuit. This is an open circuit and this is a closed circuit. And the EMF, the EMF gives you 
that potential difference. So it is the cause in that effect. So EMF can produce the potential difference, but a potential difference cannot give you the EMF. A potential difference does not give you the EMF. So you can write this as a quick point here. Let me write this one. Let me write that. Smaller. This is the smaller. So, when we represent it, it, 
in picture, in the short film. This is the set. You say this is the set. There's some EMG. And in the internal distance, this is different like this. Mean this combination, this total is the set. The R is inside the set, but you can say you can draw like that. If it is in a circuit, it will make it this R. So you can write simply the set is a it is a But with the internal distance, you can draw in the circuit like this. That is the set with the internal distance smaller. And where this information R comes, the electron that moves from the positive end to Positive electrode to negative electrode, it gets some opposition. So that opposition leads to the internal resistance of the cell. Now, next time we go to the and express a relation of this internal resistance with in terms of EMF. Now, let me draw a figure like that. The circuit is there of EMF with internal resistance is here. Ah, that is my cell. A, it is connected to an extra resistance R. Suppose it is connected to the extra resistance R. Now, suppose there is a key, or you can say, let there is a key. There is a key. If I will measure, then the key is open. And if I use a board filter, and if I measure the board filter, if I measure the potential difference in the circuit, now we can open circuit. That will give me give me what? That will give me the EMF. But when it is closed, that key is closed, if I use the board filter, and if I measure the potential difference by using a board filter, because board filter is connected parallel. So I have connected that in parallel. And if I find what is the potential difference between the two terminals, that is the actually gives you the what potential difference. But when it is open circuit, the board meter gives me the EMF of the same. When it is open, this board meter measures the EMF of the same. That is the difference already you know that in this part. But when we derive the relation, now let us consider the relation for internal resistance of this. Let the given is then as you know the current goes from positive to the circuit and to the circuit and the high comes here like this. And this current goes to the circuit like this. So this positive end, the positive charge moves because in the direction of current, if you go for electron, the electron moves in this direction because this is negative, this is positive, or in the higher potential, it is at a lower potential of a cell. So the electron moves from the solar potential outside the circuit, goes in this direction, opposite to the current, to the resistance, comes to positive. When the electron is here, inside the cell, it should move from positive to negative. So to do that, work is to be done. Energy is stored and energy is given. So that electron moves from positive to negative. When the electron moves from here to here, it gets some internal resistance. It is some opposition given to the cell. So from this concept, you can say, what is this current? I. According to Ohm's law, I is equal to what? D by R. What is the F? The EMF of the cell, that is the potential. E. EMF of the cell. By. What is my R? This resistance R is connected to, there is an internal resistance of the cell, which is inside the cell. This R is in a series. This R is in a series to capital R. Extra resistance and this is the internal resistance. This is in series. So in series means, I will say this is equal to R plus R. So, I is equal to P by R, that is equal to Rohm's law. I will use the same concept. But in this circuit, E by R plus R. Because this R is there inside the cell. So this is the internal resistance. I is equal to E by R plus R. Or I can write this is equal to P is equal to I R or I of this is equal to E is equal to I R plus R. Or I can write this as equal to, as you know, when it is in the closed circuit, if I find what is that in the closed circuit, if the board meter is connected between these two terminals, if the current I close to the resistance R. Suppose the current I close 
the resistance R, then as you go from Ohm's law, what is the potential difference? D is equal to R. The current flows in the resistance R, what is the potential difference? D is equal to I R. I have already told that. So if I put that, D is equal to I R plus I R. So I can write D is equal to what is this idea? What is the potential difference? Plus I R. So or you can write or D is equal to E minus I R. So in this condition, this is an expression for potential difference in the EMF. Okay? Right? Then another part you can say that. So this is a relation of EMF in the now. If I use this one. In this part, the expression for internal resistance. From here, I calculate the expression for is the relation between potential difference and EMF. From this expression, you say the EMF of the cell is greater than the potential difference. EMF of the cell is greater than the potential difference. This is the case. Means most of the cases, when I read it, I will go in detail about this one. The EMF of the cell is greater than the potential difference in this circuit. Means the charge of current is coming from the source or the cell. In that condition, means it is the condition of discharge. The cell is discharging. In the discharging case, discharging means current is coming from the cell. In the discharging case, it is greater than. Okay, so this is the one condition. Yes. We got the relation for B and E. So B is equal to E minus I. From here, I will find the expression for this internal resistance model. I will do this one now. See this expression. I got B is equal to E minus I R. And from this relation, you know, B is equal to what we know that. I R at the potential difference comes in your external resistance. It is not comes in with this uh, internal resistance. This is inside the cell. Now from this expression, if I write B minus E or E minus B, then can be write B e minus B is equal to B e minus B is equal to I into R. So what is this I? From here I can say I is equal to B by R. So if I put I is equal to B by R into R is equal to E minus R. So R is equal to E minus B into R by B. Or R is equal to let me write E by B minus B by B one into R. That is my internal resistance. E by B minus one into R, and this is equal to to find the internal resistance of the cell. We we'll use this formula, and we will read it later in potentiometer. Then we we'll use this formula to find the internal resistance of the cell. To find the internal resistance of the cell, we we'll use this formula in our potentiometer experiment. Right? So this is the expression for internal resistance of the cell. Clear? Now we come to this expression D is equal to E minus I. Then I told that in this condition, when the battery is discharged, now let me go to in detail about this expression. Here, let me write this D is equal to E minus I. That the expression we got. Then I told that this is the case. In discharging of a cell, discharge. For discharging the cell, what I got? This EMF of the cell E should be greater than the potential difference. How I got this one? Take an example like that. Suppose this is a resistance R, and this is a cell. Correct, right? Then this is the Let this R be on the from the same unit, from the same of EMF E connected to the that is the internal resistance of the same. Let this be the 
when the positive charge comes from the cell, it goes along this path to this resistance. Already know what is this EMF and B? They have the work of energy. Mean the cell should give that much of energy to the charge so that it can overcome this barrier, this potential, so that it can pass. That's why the EMF should be greater than B for this charge. Then the charge is coming from the cell. So it should give that much of energy. What is this EMF? Work on by charge. This is the work on energy. So this much of energy should be given by the cell to move to the resistor. That's why it is greater than B in a discharging. Then you go to the charging part. In the charging part, when the cell is charged, in the charging part, now see, this is the cell with interactions. Now the cell is charging means what? The current goes to the cell, which positive charge enters here. This is the charging piece, like this. Current enters in this cell. And suppose this is the current A, and this is the current B. So in this charging part, what I'm going to say? Here what happens? That the current is going in this part. Means it is at a high potential, this is at a lower potential. So this side comes to higher, this side comes to lower. So in this concept, what I will put here, the V A, the potential, then this part, here it is what? The EMF of the cell. Now we are moving what? I to lower, so we can write here V A. Then the current flows in this part, so this is an I to lower, so I can write. So this is a minus. Then, what is the next part is here? Here minus C, then here again comes to this part. Here what happens you see? This is at a higher and lower. So, in this part, in this charging case, here it is at a higher potential, this is at a lower potential. So there is a drop of potential. There is a drop of potential. And here it is a higher potential, here it is lower potential. Drop of potential means that we give you higher. Then that equal to so this is the expression for V A minus C minus I R equal to B. This is the case of what? Discharge. Sorry, this is the case of charge. So while charging the battery, while the charging the battery, the current is going to the cell. So the current is pushing to the cell. So the current is pushing to the cell means the positive charge is enters to the cell. So when the positive charge enters to the cell, and this is comes from a charger. So you can say this comes from a charger. Let me draw this one. This is coming from a charger. This is the set of R, EMF, and there is a charger. What is this charger to? The charger gives the current like that to the set. And this current goes to this internalization. So in this part, the potential difference means V A minus V B is equal to what? V A minus V B is equal to E plus I R. E plus I R. So this is equal to V A minus V B which is what? V A is suppose potential difference plus I R. So E plus I R. So what is it? V A B is equal to E plus I R. Which one is greater? Here. The greater part is what? Here it is a EMF is greater than This potential is greater than EMF. Now come to the function. This is the EMF of the cell. And this is a charger. The charger gives you what? Potential. So if a charge wants to move or current enter to the cell. So this charge should have that much of energy which is the potential. That much of energy. The cell can that much of energy, which is the potential, energy per unit charge, or water per unit charge, that much of potential, which should overcome this EMI. So, VAT should be greater than E. Otherwise, the cell will not. Now, the cell is a charge in this case. So, you got the two concepts that, let me write. And if you go in terms of 
In this one, if I put this, then I don't know like this. Then no. So this motor failure is inside the like Inside that cell. This motor failure. If it is in motion of that way, so this is a small area inside this cell. So A is smaller and larger. So I can write here, interaction control is. So this area is the length inside the electrolyte. So length is this is the Now suppose I also. Now it increases, the electrolyte increases. Means area inside the electrolyte increases, area increases in relation. So R is inversely proportional to A. R is inversely proportional to A. If it increases, R decreases. The third vector is the concentration of the electrolyte. Electrolyte. Then you are making a row, row vector. That row can be not row. Not the testing resistance, it gives you the concentration. Concentration of the electrolyte. And the fourth important thing is that there is no resistance difference on temperature. Like in the mark, R3 is equal to R0, 1 plus alpha P. Then you know that here also depends upon the temperature. Temperature of the cell. Means that's why the temperature of the cell is one you see here. Then the electrolyte gets heated, temperature increases. As you know, next heat produced by a electrolyte or heat produced to the power current, that is proportional to I is equal to I square R T. That is the formula already. This is the formula by the heat produced by a current I. But I will increase heat produced. Is more. I increases, it produces more. So in this case, what happens? When the temperature of the electrolyte increases, it becomes what? It is expand. It becomes an expansion. So when this becomes an expansion, then it produces heat. That heat will, what happens? It will increase the internalization of the cell. That increases the internalization of the cell. Means what you can say? If the current in the cell increases, it produces more, more heat means more temperature, more temperature means the resistance of the cell decreases. That's why when we are taking the cell, they should be in the open region. When they are in the cells, when we are using the cells, they are in the open region. There should be a ventilation so that the reservoir light should not be get heated. If it get heated more and more, it will rust. So these are the factors on which the ventilation of the cell. And the other thing is that the internal distance of the cell depends upon these vectors. And by this concept, all these EMF potential difference and the EMF of the cell, by using all these concepts, if I write it in the north cell, then you can say the expression for the internal distance R is equal to E by D minus 1. This internal distance of the cell does not depend upon this R. Means, whatever there is this R vector, the internal distance of the cell is always constant. So, by this concept, we can know about the internal distance of the cell. Now, take a simple example that when you cell, get a cell from the market, then you get the internal distance of the R. When you get a cell in the market, then it is a EMF region given. And suppose this EMF is supposed to end. You got that. If I connect this cell to an extra distance R, will I get the 12 volt potential in this region? No. I will not get the 12 volt in this region. If I connect the volt meter, my volt meter will not give 12 volt. Because this 12 volt is the EMF of the cell. When there is no current coming from the cell, no current coming from the cell, it has this motor field. If I connect the volt meter, this will not be 4 volt, for 12 volt. Because when the current goes, this current also goes to this resistance R. So there is a drop of current. 
they may drop a core so by that concept you cannot say suppose this r is equal to four then you have to square root what is the correct you can say by simple ohm so you can say that i equal to or d equal to i r i equal to d by r by that concept you can say that what is d suppose 12 volt r is four three Will this current be through three ampere? No, three ampere will not get. If you connect an emitter, emitter is connected to series, so I will connect this emitter here. If you connect an emitter, this emitter will not need three ampere. This emitter will not need three ampere. It will be less than this because there is a resistance is connected. So this is the EMF the cell when there is no current coming from the cell. Okay. So. With this concept, you know, or you got an idea about EMF, potential difference, and the internal resistance of a cell. Okay, so thank you.